Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric. Now I'm going to show you shelf two of my DVD collection. Right, let's get started. Right here is Revenge of the Nerds, the Atomic Wedgie collection, which has Revenge of the Nerds 1, 2, 3, and 4. Wow, I haven't watched this in a long time. I haven't watched this since I was in like junior high. Honestly, if you're going to watch this series, only watch the first one and the second one. Third was unneeded. The fourth one just just sucks. The first two are absolutely hilarious, but other than that, just watch the first two. I heard that there was originally going to be a remake in 2007, but it got canceled. I'm a big Simpsons fan, so I'm going to show you all my Simpsons DVDs. The Simpsons, the complete 20th season. The complete 7th season. The complete, uh, the complete 5th season. The complete 6th season. Yeah, it kind of has a weird DVD. And the last of my Simpsons DVDs, the complete 1st season. Yeah, um... I used to have the Simpsons movie on DVD, but I don't know where it went. Alright, next up is... Shrek Forever After, the final chapter on Blu-ray. It was an okay movie. One of my favorite films of 2010, Toy Story 3. A lot of you are going to be, you know, kind of shocked that, well, what is a um, horror guy doing with this? Well, I'm not just a horror guy. Um, basically, I'm into horror, action, comedy. And I'm even into the um, family films, but just as long as it's not Twilight or anything or anything like that. Here is CSI. Um, well, well, this is a thing that my church did a long time ago. It's basically like the Christian version of CSI. One of the most badass superheroes of all time, Batman. The Animated Series, Volume 1. This is one of the greatest cartoons ever made in the history of mankind. And if you don't, and if you don't think so, well, I'm sorry to hear that. One of my favorite films, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. In my opinion, if you're going to watch th this series, only watch Terminator 1 and 2. Skip the third one and the fourth one. Now on to my Beavis and Butthead collection. Beavis and Butthead Volume 1, Volume 2, and Beavis and Butthead Volume 3. Here is the Beavis and Butthead movie, Beavis and Butthead Duo America. I love Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead is like one of the funniest shows ever made. Another one of my favorite shows, South Park. The complete, uh, the complete tenth season. Uh, South Park isn't a show for for everybody, but I th I think it's pretty funny. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is a good one. Jackass the movie unrated. Yep, some of you might might remember when I used to do my own Jackass videos a long time ago. Yep, how could we all forget that? Here's Jackass, the box set. It's pretty much the whole Jackass TV series. I got this for Christmas a long time ago, back in like junior high. Now on to Jackass number two, unrated. I don't have Jackass 3 on DVD. Now on to Viva La Bam, the complete first season. This was a great show. One of my all-time favorite comedies, Without a Paddle. I love this movie. One of the most famous horror movies ever made, The Shining. Here's Johnny. Here is the first movie that I ever reviewed on the Review Crew 100, The King's Speech. This was a great movie. Check it out. The Hills Have Eyes, the 2006 remake. I thought that this one was pretty good. Yeah, I tried getting the sticker off, but... I hate it when stores put on stickers and you can't get them off. I, that really pissed me off. And yes, I do have its sequel, The Hills Have Eyes 2, unrated. One of my favorite films, Edward Scissorhands. One of the first horror films I ever saw, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. One of my favorite films, Stand By Me. Fantastic movie. I can watch this over and over and over and over again and never ever get tired of it. Here's The Punisher, the one with Thomas Jane and John Travolta. Saw 2. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning. 
This was one of the first horror movies I ever got on DVD. One of the first horror films I ever got on DVD, Christine. Another one of the first horror films I ever got, the original Night of the Living Dead in color. This one has one of the most awesome commentaries I've, I've ever heard in my life. I mean, the, the, the commentary for this is hilarious. Saw 4, the unrated director's cut. In my opinion, this is where the series started to lose it. The only of the scary movies I have, Scary Movie 3. I thought that this one was pretty funny. Friday the 13th, Killer Cut. Cry Wolf. Of course, this is the PG-13 version, not the unrated version. A lot of people hate this movie, but Ghost Rider. The Strangers, I thought that to, to, I thought that this movie was pretty scary. Now moving on to my Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Four film favorites, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 1 to 4, which has the first four movies. My favorites in the series has to be either the first one, the third one, um, the the fourth one's pretty all right, but but that's when the series started to go downhill was with part four. The second one, well, it just has a um, has a lot of gay themes in it. And here's four film favorites: Nightmare on Elm Street parts five to eight. In my opinion, this is the absolute worst one. Freddy's dead. Yep, I have every single Freddy film except for the remake. Why? Because that one is just too shitty for me to own. Now my final DVD of this shelf, Batman Begins. I saw this at the theater a long, long time ago. So anyways, that's my second shelf. Stay tuned for shelf number three. See you later.